Hello everyone, my name is Ankur Jain and today in this video we are going to understand how we can achieve cross account access in AWS using IAM roles. Cross account access is needed for example when you have a production account and you have a development account. Now in production account you may have few S3 buckets and you want to grant a development user access on those S3 buckets. You still want to grant a limited access or restricted access to to the development user but yeah you you want to achieve this so in that case you can achieve it using IAM roles so we have exactly the same scenario that we are going to discuss or do hands-on in this in this video so you can see the architecture so we are having two accounts here one is the production account another is the development account we have created s3 buckets in production account and we want that the iam user who is residing in development account should be able to access the s3 buckets which are actually in production account so by default uh, this user cannot access those buckets but to achieve that in order to grant him access we have created an iam role here and that iam role uh, must be assumed by iam user who is in development account and with this setup this user would be able to access the s3 bucket so we have covered all the steps in this page and you can find this uh, link uh, in in the youtube uh, video description so you can get on this page from there so the prerequisite we have so we would need two aws accounts so in this demo i have created uh, i have two aws account uh, so you can see uh, the one which is already uh, we are in google chrome so which is the production account and the second account that i have opened here which is our development account so i have created these two accounts using aws organizations so uh, one is the management account and another, another is member account but yeah for you this is the this one is uh, the production account and another one is the development account now we would need a test user which we, which we are going to you know uh, assume that uh, that this im user would be the test user so we would need a test user in development account and we won't provide any access to this user as of now and two s3 buckets in production account so uh, two s3 buckets in production account so let's let's go in uh, our development account and create this test user so i am already here and we are going to create so let's create this test user and i'm going to give him console access custom password for now i am just adding one two three one two three and no worries i'm going to delete this i'm user okay so next permissions so mm -hmm. okay uh, password set required not custom password okay okay password doesn't meet the uh, complexity so i'm going to keep it uh, okay i'm going to one user at the rate one two three so let me see okay whether this works or not so next permissions uh, i'm not going to assign any permissions leaving text as it is and just i'm user changed password policy why it is there let me go back okay user must okay we are unticking this and going next review user has no permission yeah we don't want this user to have any permission right now so i'm just noting its password here user at the rate one two three and we have created this i am user okay so oh, now i'm going to close this and i am again going to click on this and that will take me to the detail page of this user and from here i will copy the user arn so i will copy this and note it here development okay so we have created uh, the im user in development account that user has been created now the second prerequisite is two s3 bucket in production account so i will tell you the reason why i am taking two s3 buckets so this is my production account i am in google chrome i have already created two s3 buckets just to save your time 
uh, so when I have customer images XYG, I just, uh, you know, added this suffix because we, uh, these bucket needs to be globally unique and user images XYZ. So, uh, I mean, uh, these two buckets are basically in production account and we want that the user who is here should only have access on one of the S3 buckets and it should not have access on both the S3 buckets in production account. So that's why I have created two S3 buckets and user images uh, is one that we are going to, you know, grant uh, access on. And if you click on this, I have added one icon here. Okay, so this step is also done in, uh, you know, so as a, as a prerequisite, we are all set. Now, this is a two step process. So uh, first step would require you to create an IAM role in production account. And second step uh, is granting this user access to assume that role that we are going to create in first step. So it is very simple. And, but remember, it is a two step process. So it is not like uh, you have created an IAM role in production account and IAM user in development account can assume it. You should also add access to IAM user who is in development account uh, to uh, access to assume the role that you have created. So yeah, we will see in the demo. Uh, so practically how it works. So first we are going to create an IAM role in production account. So I will go in production account. I will go IAM and I'm clicking on role. Okay, so I am here. I am going to create a role. I will select custom trust policy here. So custom trust policy and here I have selected assume role. So this is the role that I'm going to create assume role and next add principal. So select principal. I am user here. I am. I need to copy the I am user of uh, development account so that I will copy from here. So Oh, sorry. So here I will select I am user and I will select I am user ARN and then I will just click add principal. So now we have uh, created this custom test policy and we'll also check uh, we are good here. Okay, so we in the step we have select custom test policy, we have select uh, second step select development account as user principal okay now i'm clicking next okay here so here we have to create a policy and this policy is something uh, that will uh, grant access on s3 bucket so i'm going to select s3 here and i'm going to give complete access on s3 And now I'm going to give complete access on S3, but only specific resources. So uh, here I am going to add the bucket ARN. So my bucket name was, so I forgot, but I guess it was user images XYZ. Yeah, I guess it was this. So I just added this. And I will also need to give this as well because uh, otherwise it will have access on bucket but it will not have access on the underlying objects so i will add both the uh, arns here and then i think i am good i will click next review now for this policy i have already decided the name so that uh, i'm not good at giving name so i have just pre-planned it okay so user images underscore s3 access for dev account so this is the policy so that is giving access to user images s3 bucket uh, for development account now i'm creating this policy this policy has been created so now i will come again here in the role and i will find this policy here i will just select it and we'll go next again for the IAM role I will have the name already so user images s3 access for development account role so I am just creating this role so yeah we are done with uh, step one
where we have created this IAM role and this IAM role is having access on S3 bucket and also it is allowing IAM user in development account to assume it. Okay, so now what we are going to do, we are going to go in our uh, as uh, in our development account and we will see the user. We will select the test user. So before that, you know, let me go here. So now we are uh, executing our step two. So we are basically adding permission to development account user to assume the IAM role that we just created. Okay, one more thing. I forgot to uh, note the ARN for this newly created IAM role. So I think this is the role user images. So I will copy this ARN and I will keep this ARN noted here. Okay, now I'm going back in development account and create selecting the test user. And here I'm adding permission. So I'm just adding inline policy. And here I'm selecting STS because STS provides us capability to assume the role. And here I am selecting assume role permission. Now, uh, I am basically what I'm doing. I'm granting this I am development I am user, which is the test user uh, to assume a role and what role it, it it should be able to assume. So here I am selecting the ARN of the role that we created just now. So here I will edit this. Okay, now I will review the policy and okay, so I have not chosen the name for this, but we can access to broad S3 buckets and specifically user images. Okay, now I'm creating the policy. Okay. So now we have attached this policy to the test user. So what we are going to do uh, now, I'm going to log out with this uh, uh, administrate. Uh, I mean, this Ankushin 358 user, which is having administrative access. So I'm going to sign out with this. And I have. This is my development console login URL. So here I am going to log in with the test user and this test user, the password of this test user was this. So okay, so we have been successful. I mean, we have successfully successfully logged in with this user and the reason I have to uh, switch the reason to Mumbai now what I need to do. So now we can see that everything the, uh, every, I mean, everything that we have covered here uh, uh, or we have defined here is now covered. So now we are just going to test whether this user can access the S3 buckets in production account or not. So for that, I am going to switch to uh, Microsoft Edge browser. I'm logged in with the test user and now I'm going to click on switch role. Switch role when I do switch. So I am going to uh, I have to provide the account. So the account is production account. So I go here. I will copy the account ID and I will paste this account ID and the role. So this role should be uh, I will copy the role name from here. Yeah. Okay. Now I'll select yellow color and switch role. So now you can see I have been uh, logged into production account. So my account ID is uh, ending with 0156. And if I see, so my production account, I'm in Chrome right now and I my production ID is also 0156. So now if I go back to Edge, so I'm logged in as a development account user and in production account. Now I will click on S3 bucket. And we see oh yeah so we can see that i'm getting error on 
customer images xyz and i was supposed to get this error because i have not provided access here and on user images xyz i can uh, i can access this okay so if i try to delete it okay aws i can permanently delete so i will be able to delete this object so yeah i am having access and i want to re-upload it so i would like to okay i will go to download section i will go this aws icon and upload so yeah i am able to control or manage my uh, i mean I, I am able to manage this bucket using the development account privileges so i am closing this and now i go to buckets and i will see images so yeah here you see this insufficient permission to list objects so that's how we can grant a, a development account user access on some some production account or i mean uh, this is just a scenario uh, i mean just ex just an example of development and production account but yeah you can uh, achieve cross account access in any account uh, using this way using im roles so that's what i had to show you in this video and i hope you have liked this video thank you very much for watching this